When you buy a smartphone, there are plenty of things to consider. RAMs, cameras, processors, etc. are the major deciding factors. But as of late, fast charging is also surfacing as a decisive factor while getting a new smartphone. Now we're all short of time, and who wouldn't want a smartphone that would charge up in minutes? And it seems like smartphone companies are also offering various standards for fast charging. There's Dash Charge, Vogue Charge, Quick Charge and whatnot. What they are, how they differ, and which one is the best, we'll try to break it down for you. As charging is simply a product of voltage and amount of current, basically, fast charging means supplying more watts to the phone. Greater current and higher voltages charge batteries faster. But there's a limit to what they can intake. Also, phones charge in two phases. The first phase is when the phone charges from 0 to 80%, which happens fairly quickly. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly 80%, it can sometimes be 70 or even 60. Chargers can pump out high level of energy very quickly to get to these levels fast. And after the phones get here, charging speeds become slower, energy levels are lowered and supplied at a slower rate. That's why smartphone companies talk about how fast their phones can get to that 80%, because it's easy to pump it up in their phones. But the catch is that sometimes the last 20% can take as much as the first 80% to charge. This is how charging circuits are designed so as not to damage the battery because with higher power comes higher heat and when heat rises, both the battery life and charging are affected. As for our fast charging test, we tested out four phones side by side to see which one charges up the fastest and these four phones all have different charging standards. These four phones have different battery capacities but what we can do is divide the total battery capacity by the time they take to fully charge to get the average charging speed. Now this might not be scientific by all standards but it will give you a general idea. So these are the four phones we're gonna test out. The Pocophone F1 has the Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0. Its adapter gives 9 volt and 2 amperes of output which means it's an 18 watt charger. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has the adaptive charging which is somewhat similar to Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0. Due to this reason, most Samsung chargers are compatible with Quick Charge 2.0 as well. The Note 9's charging adapter gives a maximum of 9 volt 1.67 ampere of output which gives off up to 15 watts of power. The Oppo F9 has Vogue charging which claims up to 2 hours of talk time in 5 minutes of charging and OnePlus being Oppo's sister company features the Dash Charge which is similar to Vogue Charge as well. Both these chargers have 5V 4 amperes of power which gives 20 watts of output. The major difference between these two technologies is that Quick Charge and Adaptive Charge pump stronger current to the batteries while Dash Charge and Vogue Charge pump more amount of current. Now, when we charge this phone side by side, we can see that the OnePlus 6 is taking the lead initially. In the first 5 minutes, the Oppo F9 has 9%, the Poco F1 has 6%, Note 9 has 7 while the OnePlus 6 has 10% of charge. In 15 minutes, the Oppo F9 has charged to 27%, the Poco F1 to 16 the Note 9 to 19 and still the OnePlus 6 takes the lead with 29%. At 29 minutes, we can see the OnePlus 6 still take the lead with 55% of charge whereas Oppo F9 is close behind at 52. The Note 9 and Poco F1 are behind at 36 and 34 respectively. Now we can see that the OnePlus 6 and the Oppo F9 are very close. This is because their fast charging technologies are more or less the same and the F9 has slightly larger battery. And the Note 9 and Poco F1 fall behind because of their bigger batteries. At 45 minutes, OnePlus 6 is at 80%, while the F9 is at 79. The Note 9 is at 56%, whereas the Poco F1 is at 55%. Here too, the Note 9 and Poco F1 are pretty close to each other. Their batteries are the same and their fast charging standards are very similar too. At the 1 hour mark, the F9 takes the lead at 92% whereas OnePlus 6 is at 91%. Note 9 is at 75% while the Poco F1 is at 72. Here we can see that the charging speeds of F9 and OnePlus 6 have slowed down considerably. Moving on, OnePlus 6 has reached the finish line at 1 hour and 24 minutes. The F9 is closed and it reaches its 100% at 1 hour and 26 minutes. The Note 9 is at 93% and the Poco F1 is at 92% at this point. It seems like the OnePlus 6 is the winner here but not so fast. We have yet to calculate the average charging speeds of these phones. As we wait patiently, the Note 9 finally charges to 100% at a time of 1 hour 47 minutes, 
while the Poco F1 reaches 100% at a time of 1 hour and 52 minutes. Now that we've finished charging the phones, let's do the math. First, the OnePlus 6. It charged from 0 to 100 in 84 minutes. Considering a battery of 33 milliamp, we are looking at an average of some 39 milliamp per minute. As for the Oppo F9, a 3500 milliamp of battery in 86 minutes gives us an average of 40 milliamp per minute. Now that's slightly faster than the OnePlus 6. Moving on to the Note 9, a 4000 milliamp battery charged fully in 107 minutes. This gives us an average of 37 milliamp per minute. And as for the Poco F1, the battery charged in 112 minutes, which gives us a 35 milliamp per minute. Also, we can see how the OnePlus 6 and the Oppo F9 charged up to 80% in 45 minutes, but after that, they took almost another 40 minutes to fill that last 20%. Similarly, with the Note 9 and Poco F1, they charged up to 80% in 65 and 67 minutes, after which they also took over 40 minutes to get the last 20%. So this is what we're talking about by the two charging phases of the phones. Now these tests are not that scientific as there are some other factors that come into play while charging. Also we did an average of the uh, overall charging cycle and not the first and the second phases. So yeah, but as I already said, this should be enough to give you a general idea about the different charging speeds and their standards. So it seems that Oppo F9's Vogue Charge is the winner here with Dash Charge at second place. Samsung's adaptive charging does hold its own, while Quick Charge 3.0 tries its best. However, as the results imply, these fast charging standards are not much different from each other anyway. They only differ in whether they pump a stronger current or more amount of current, but the end result is the same. Unfortunately, we could not test Vivo's dual engine fast charging, but we will do that in the full review of our Vivo V11 Pro. So until then, I'm Johnson Swester for Gadget Byte. Thank you for watching.